Hello people and welcome to the Organised Nonsense Podcast. I am Kevin Smith, a very overtired Kevin Smith, and I'm here yes. with a regular Sean Reedy. And, Are you sure? Um, well, I don't know. You keep changing on a weekly basis. And a... Anime to- lusted Sean Reedy. Hmm. And a toaster and a toaster loving Christian Roderick. Yeah. It should happen. Like a big we, we, fucking we racist. Went away, we went away for three weeks. Yeah. I, I expected you to do stuff while I was away. I did oh. too. We saw I, I, I was like, yeah, we'll stream. And I was like, actually, no, we won't. <laughs> what the f- oh, oh, guys, big news. I don't know if you saw this. But the anime video I did, right? Yeah. Not it's only is it video. our most viewed video, it, it doubled, it, it tripled doubled, our subscriber no, count. Doubled, it doubled our subscriber count. Now we have a whopping four subscribers. No, we don't. We have twelve. Okay. What? That's way too much. We can't handle that. <laughs> we can't handle um, the pressure. So all of those <laughs> wonderful people, I mean, fucking weebs, brought in by Kevin. <laughs> okay. Um, so- Bring it to you, but we only talk about toast in this channel. We don't talk about fucking trash anime. I uh, so yeah, you can have. A, yeah, this is gonna be a fucking anime cast, so that's great. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm. It will. I'm going to be doing. We're, we're. I'm going to be doing more of those types of videos, and I'm calling right. the series Trash Talk. So oh, good. Quote the podcast though. Talk about anime. So trash. like, this episode's gonna be about that shit. So like. Let's get all the other stuff out of the way first. Yeah. Mario Maker coming to coming to three DS with no online sharing. <laughs> Ke- Kevin so hasn't basi- seen the direct, so he's not no, very clear on this. No, I haven't. But I, I, I knew that there was a direct and it's in my watch yeah. later on YouTube, yeah. but I haven't like actually watched it. Yeah. Yeah, um, so Mario Maker coming to the three DS. Uh absolutely it's, it's got it technically has all of the Wii U levels in it. No, but like, okay, right. Technically, what's the, what's the point but of what Mario? What's the, yeah, what's the point of Mario Maker so, if like without the? So it has Hundred Mario Challenge and it has right, so. the recommended page. You can, and that's it. And that's it. Levels. That's it. I guess yeah, it's you... okay, but like, then it's better than nothing. Because mm. uh, like like isn't like a hundred uh, levels like the most that's ever been in like a Mar- one Mario game. I doubt it. It's like uh, up there. Yeah. It's up there with like no, I think it is. It's like two or three higher than mm. what's it called? Three D World. <laughs> but um, what is also, made a bunch uh, of weird. They announced in. Someone at Nintendo was watching a lot of Simpsons because they announced uh, Yoshi and Poochie's Woolly World. (laughs) (laughs) Which is Woolly World for 3DS with a new character, Poochie. Poochie is a new... I know, yeah, but a new playable character. I mean, you could ride him, but now you can play just as him. Yeah. He must go. His his planet needs him. Um, (laughs) And when when Poochie isn't here, the the cast must all say, "Where's Poochie?" Yeah, uh, I I I'm not gonna be buying any any more games for a while, cause like I have Pokemon, I have Pokemon in November, mm. and then after that, as soon as I save up for Pokemon, it's basically just save for NX. Yeah, I'm already toning yeah. down. Like I I looked at Deus Ex and went, "Yeah, but no." <laughs> As yeah, well. I'm playing. Yeah, like, I'm playing Human Revolution. I'm playing Human Revolution. I'm really enjoying that. It's probably yeah, the first I mean, Western. Like, or- I, mean, like, I think I mean, it's the first West Western RPG I've enjoyed since I played Persona Four. So that's nice. And I mean, like, what? And I mean, like, I still. <laughs> have- what are you talking about? And I mean, like, I still have all both Bayonetta games, Donkey Kong yeah. Country, oh. and like, and like, a and like, of, and like a couple, and Bravely Second. So like, it's not like I have a yeah. lot of games. I. I have a colossal backlog of hundreds because I have PlayStation Plus and yeah. go into CX and just buy stuff. <laughs> yeah, so today, I should, like, should probably stop uh, and save up for Persona 5 and Nier and the NX. <laughs> yeah, you got like 110 to pay off, buddy. <laughs> yeah, and also 250 or whatever for the NX. I, They said it... Yeah, 
one outlet said it would be cheap, they think. And that was a pretty reliable one. Like, right there with Eurogamer. <sighs> like, I'd, like how, how are we talking cheap? Because I'm predicting 200. Oh, I'm thinking 250. No, but... I don't think they'll ever go to 200. Because yeah, if it's 300, then I probably can't get it. I'm thinking 250. I'm gonna sell my Wii U and say, fuck you, Nintendo, why did I buy your console? And then you're gonna buy a copy of Yoshi and Poochie's Woolly World. Why would I buy Woolly World? I already have Super Mario World 2 on an emulator. Yeah, but Woolly World is like, it's got yarn. It's got nice music. You will miss. I, I, yeah, like, if I had the money... And I ha if I had the money, I like there was a point where I was gonna buy Woolly World just as like a nice relaxing yeah. thing to play. So would I. Yeah. At sort so of was just, I, like yeah. to play like before going to sleep or something to relax. Yeah. Kevin is the point as one. Oh, and the other thing is that Woolly World's coming out in February, which is. That's so fun. In which case, no one's buying it. <laughs> which is which is kind of yeah. cutting it close on that whole. NX thing, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. They, they announced a picnic for the 3DS, which is in 2D, and that's coming out next year as well. Hmm. And that one doesn't even have a date, so that's probably post NX. They, they didn't even give it a name. It said name pending. Yeah. Well, Nintendo do that all the time. Yeah, but oh, oh. yeah, it's getting I to was... the point. It's getting to the point now where like they need to like tell us what it is. I don't understand. Well, according to rumors, <laughs> we we have rumors, but we don't have it. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying. I'm saying the fucking direct on Tuesday one, which is that's Wait, is maybe there another the direct crazy. On Tuesday? No, there is a rumor is going around. There is a bullshit, bullshit rumor going around that Nintendo will on Tuesday at 3 p.m. have an direct. have have an unannounced NX direct, and they'll just put it out. No worries. At all. You're like, that is in many years. Well, no, two. That's many. Um, yeah. That's oh, Jesus. That's, it's two. that's a many. It's about two. No. Yeah, of just NX fucking. Like, what is it? That is, this is maybe the worst rumor I've heard, like, <laughs> believability wise. And, and you're but, going to eat it all up. But also, yeah. like, it's, it's at the point where it's so ridiculous. I'm sort of like. It really. Don't. Maybe. Don't maybe. Me. I'm not. I'm okay. But like, it's like, why the fuck would they do that? Which like, is kind of Nintendo's slogan uh, at this point. Yeah, but it would also be, you know, actually giving us NX news, which is yeah. Nintendo should do that, but they won't. Oh, another point is that uh, on yeah, so that direct, uh, according to this leak, would be on Tuesday. Uh, the iPhone and the new PS4 are being announced on Wednesday. Mm. <laughs> so I don't even know what my stance is on the new PS4. I'm not gonna buy it. That's it. That's my stance. I don't, I, I don't care enough. Why? I, it, it's the 4.5. So like, wow. isn't the whole thing like you can just watch in 4K? Uh, I don't. We don't know. It's it has more details it, than the NX. At least it's unclear how much uh, of an upgrade it's gonna be. Because, like, it was going to be a pretty minor one, but then Xbox came out and like, oh, the Scorpio is coming. That's going to be a big upgrade. It'll basically be a, it'll basically be a new console with the same uh, systems and 100% backwards compatibility. Uh, so the PS4 guys were like, oh, maybe we should make ours a bit stronger. And we so we don't know at all. We'll know on Wednesday. Oh, and Kevin, another th one thing you missed is that oh. the uh, PS4 Slim is it, is that it, is that okay? Is that not what the what the four point oh, five boy. is supposed to be? No, 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 no. The Slim, no, no. The slim is, is a new cheaper <laughs> PS4. The Slim will be like replacing the original PS4, and the Neo will be a more expensive PS4. option for. All right, so basically, like. What they're gonna do is they're gonna come out and be like, "This slim is like a cheaper version of the PS4." Yeah. And then this one but is like a slightly more expensive here's, PS4. Here's the thing about the slim. Um, you could already 
buy it. Actually, uh, it hasn't been announced, but like you can go into a CEX in some places and just buy it. It's there. <laughs> like, there's this one guy who stole it and put it on Amazon. So basically, uh, there was. Yeah, some, some guy just puts a photo up of like, hey, I have the PS... No, it was on Gumtree. Someone just had an ad on Gumtree of new P- new unreleased PS4 Slim. And, and, it was just, and it was just in the box. And people were like, is, what is this real? And then, yeah, were like, and then, and then <laughs> a guy was like, okay, I'm going to check. I'm going to buy it. And so he bought it. Well, no, he was like he was about to buy it. And then he was like, okay, fucking like show is me what's like in the, the box thing? then. Is this like the thing? And then he did. And then he did show him what was in the box. And it was, and it was a PS4 real. Slim. <laughs> um, and then, so he bought it then. And then Eurogamer came to his house. Oh, and filmed yeah. him turning it on. So yeah, it's it's real. <laughs> Have there are still people out there who are like, like, oh, no, no way it's real. All right, because I was going to be like, is this Everyone like, has 3D printers like, nowadays. Did you, did you hear about the situation? As in, did you hear about the situation uh, when the Xbox One was about to come out? Some guy bought an Xbox One for full retail price, like a month before I came out, and actually he was just buying like a box. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. going to be something like that, but no, it's an actual thing. No, no, it was a PS, it was a PS4 Slim. <laughs> Like actually, like, so it's like so it's imagine, like when no 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 no. no. Imagine, like, hold on, hold on. Imagine for for a second. Imagine if someone got an NX prototype and he wouldn't add for it on Gumtree. Imagine, imagine, yeah, imagine there was an NX on eBay right now. <laughs> Wait, why don't we just type in NX right now? Yeah, I, I'm I'm going going on to it now. Is this how we find it out? Has Nintendo just been slipping them out in? In, in the open. Oh, I swear to God, the NX server has gotten real bad. These, the NX these server has gotten real bad these These are all phone cases. Past, these are all phone cases. This past while. The NX server had got real bad recently. They're all like, oh no, none of the leaks are real. Eurogamer, fake. Uh, Emily Rogers, lying. And it's just, uh, to be it's fair, constant. No rumors are true. Enough, yes, was involved in the all right. Uh, uh, like the only okay, Christian, I Christian have as mu- is... as as contrarian as you like to be about NX rumors, the Eurogamer <laughs> one is yeah. real, right? Like, and guys, at this point, for some reason, I don't know why. Question, uh, answer my question, Christian. <laughs> like, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty iffy either no, way no, 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 about no. the NX rumors. But like, I think. The one thing I think for sure about the NX is that it's like a PS Vita type thing. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, more while well, we're just talking about the NX, rumor is it has, oh, it does not have the classic Nintendo D pad, mm-hmm. and it has a PlayStation style uh, split D pad. Which, oh, whoa. <laughs> I don't know how I feel Neither. about that. And that's a boring enough thing to leak that I believe it. Like, the more boring a leak is, the more real you can assume it is. Um, that same leak said, share button. Which doesn't seem like Nintendo, but yeah, go ahead. I mean, just just do like a Vita thing where I can hold two buttons and it'll, it'll fucking take a screenshot. You All don't right. need a whole button I dedicated need, to, I need it. to ask. At what yeah. point do you keep stop ignoring me, and so I can start talking about toast, and then leave the podcast forever? We get through NX bullshit, and then we'll move on to JoJo bullshit, and then we'll finish on Persona bullshit because there's going to be quite a bit of that. Hmm? Uh, I feel like yeah. there's a delay in my voice. I yes, I don't think so. I no. Um, well, there's definitely no, I think there's a delay between all of us. So yeah, should we we'll move on to? The uh, JoJo bullshit. Mm. Shall we? Okay. Kevin, Kevin, what have you thought of the past three weeks of JoJo? Okay, so where was the last time we left off? It was like uh, just when, maybe. Like, yeah, I think it was just hard... when Kira. It, I think it was it just was... when like he was revealed that he was like a murderer or something. It was, or was either it the one after the Ghost Girl thing. I think it was the one after. Dude, you no, I th- JoJo for me. Oh. It was one of the Harvest episodes, I think. Maybe Cinderella. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
So, yeah, Sin. I don't remember if we had Cinderella, but Cin yeah, Cinderella is a pretty okay, good. Okay, so so my question, I talked about is, this. Before. Is that thunder picking up? Yes. Jesus, that, that's bad. Uh, okay, so I I had a question uh, before the podcast. Yeah. About this, uh, your man Kira, that's his name, isn't it? Yeah. Also, really fucking not subtle, like. Kira, they, they already did that in Death Note, where like he was called Kira because it sounds like killer. killer yeah, but this what? was before that. Yeah, probably. I know. But, I don't know. I know when was like, Death Note? I know, but it's still not subtle. When was Death Note? Uh, it's Death Note. I'm pretty sure Death Note came after. Like, Death Note was probably yeah. like early aughts. Um, yeah, Joseph Part Four was mid mid nineties. Yeah. Um, so like, all right. So does does Kira? Does he have two stands? No, he has a substand. They don't explain yes. that. No, they don't, and they keep and it's fucking also, doing it. And they also don't explain how, like, it's like, just an ability. I know. Okay, okay, but they also yeah. don't. Yeah, but it seems powerful enough that it would be its own stand. Yeah. He's, okay. He's just and they good. also don't explain how, like, after like the first, the episode after, like, reverb. Turns into reverb echoes. act echoes. Echo. Yeah, whatever. Echoes. echoes. Yeah, echo sounds better. Echo. Yeah, I know. After it turns into echo, that's why after... Iraqi said it. Yeah, after it turns into echoes. Uh, <laughs> act two, like the the episode <laughs> afterwards, it's back to Act one for like another episode. No, he can it... switch between them. What? Like it will. Yeah, but they make like a big deal out of the fact, like, oh shit. Echoes is dead. Oh wait, no. He's just trying yeah, to no. him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, then they make a big deal a out of like Christian, the fact that like the last Christian, one that's is a, dead. That's a fucking low way to try to get attention, Christian. Yeah, Christian. Like, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> he took your head off. Yeah. <laughs> um, what? I seriously didn't do anything. What did I do? I heard Nothing, echoes. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's just because we were talking about echoes. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. fucking care. Either I was too way. busy listening to the tree trash. Either way. Great, good. Do that. Either um, way. I don't fully understand Echo's Act 3, but he's pretty bitching. Yeah. He, sw he swears yeah, he more. Swears don't, more. Worry. don't worry. Christian. Christian. Why? Fucking stop. I'm not causing anything to happen. Then just. I don't know. Okay, it's fine now. I'd. Stay, leave things as they are now. Um, I'm not touching anything. Um, also, God, also another question. Uh, why can Echoes... Why does Echoes now, like... Why, does, why is he, like, sentient? Well, oh, some stands just are. are. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Like, um, there's a great one in part five. Yeah, st stands with personalities. That's the thing. Mm. At, at, at a point, oh, I don't really no. think it is. Yeah. It's not really in part three. D. Huh? I was going because persona, personality. You, you get it? Yeah, totally. Sh yeah, um, yeah. Shut up, Christian. Basically, basically, Koichi's is a wild card. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I also have a question. Uh, yeah. Have you heard? Okay, I take it you've heard some of, like, the soundtrack of Part 3 and 4 on their own. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you know the song, do you know the song titled yeah. Stardust Crusaders? Basically, like... Yeah. Side note, I actually yeah. think it's really cool that, like, in the last episode, when, like, JoJo's going all, like, crazy on, like, Heart Attack, yeah. they do a remix of yeah. that. Yeah, sheer, sheer Heart Attack, but yeah, carry yeah. on. Either way, uh, which do you prefer? Uh, Stardust Crusaders or Diamond of the Breakable? Like, I'm talking about the, the, the okay. song, not the series. Stardust Crusaders is better the whole way through, but the good part of Diamond is Unbreakable, I think, maybe edges out. But there's also, like, the three minutes of just going breakdown. Yeah. It's like, the, it's, like this, it's like the same in Stardust, though. Like, there's, like, the main mm. like, thing in... in like Yeah, but the build-up sort of build is better. At, there's, yeah, there's the chorus, and then there's, like... Two minutes of just like bullshit, but then like that yeah. second verse is fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so like yeah, David. I like them both, but like I'm gonna go with Stardust mm. Crusaders. 
Part 2 is the best soundtrack, though. Part 2. I didn't really notice. Cause they, like, because they just... No, Part 2 totally fucking, because... But they got fucking lotus juice for part two. They knew what was down. <laughs> what? What? Lotus juice is in JoJo. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> What's lotus juice? Is that like a K pop band? He's, 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 he's the guy who does the rapping in Persona. Six to seven, eight, nine, ten, all these, and I'm the ace. Oh, yeah. head. Oh. I what he said. Um. So, Killer Queen, how's... What did you th People got really angry about his first appearance. Because... Uh, he was all... He was all... Uh, he, he was... He, it was a wide shot in an anime. Like, you can't really expect much. And then they went back and fixed it at the start of the next episode, so... Hmm. Like... Like, apparently, it nearly broke the Japanese JoJo fandom, apparently. What? Like, Your just, they were pe- They were pe- Killer Queen's reveal. Like... I think Killer Queen is, like, cool. Like, yeah. design-wise, anyway. I think his power might also, like, in the same way that, like, it's weird, like, some stands are just way more OP than others. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's this guy on tape called Renato Arizado. He lives in Texas. Oh, fucking course. Christian, stop. <laughs> we'll get to you eventually. Um, and I read Judge of Part 5. It's okay. I To rank them, it's probably like 1 and then 3 and 5 are about equal. I, I, I go back and forth. I've been going back and forth since I finished 5, on which I like more. I don't know. Yeah, is there a guy called Yuri Akami who lives in Texas on Skype? <laughs> they're, probably in a prob they're probably the same guy. <laughs> um, they're just this fake one for uh, Australia. Part 5 really... When people talk about JoJo being fabulous, they're talking about Part 5. Yeah, Part five I, can, is... I can just see from it, like... Yeah, I think, as a, as a mango, it's quite confusing. Like, and for about 30, 40, maybe like 70 chapters, actually, it's bad translations. So I, I, I just spend the entire time going... Ah, 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 ah. Um, but in the end, I enjoyed it enough. I think it will translate very well uh, to the anime next year. Uh, well, for, I mean, j fucking David Productions have this thing where they're like, oh no, <laughs> why would we adapt to past this? Uh, uh. Yeah, they haven't, uh, they haven't, they they haven't they, officially, they haven't announced it or anything. Yeah, they, apparently they will in February. Apparently, they have a panel in February <laughs> with a JoJo announcement. Fucking, I guess. Mm. Uh, There's this guy named yeah. your Of course. I mean, just it, 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 is a name. it is a name. You can just add these guys to this guy. No, don't. Why not? Because. The <laughs> fucking, I, we'll add them for the Daybreakers chat later. Don't, <laughs> don't worry. And I also played some of All Star Battle, and it's not good at all. It's really bad. Like as as a JoJo game, it's pretty great. As a video game, it's fucking dog shit. Uh, it's a like it's a fighting game. It's a fighting game at like twenty frames a second with slow fucking thunder again. Jesus. Hold on two seconds, I need to turn on my light. Jesus. But... I... Yeah, so... I just still in the air until... Christian, did you just try to fucking do something? I think he was like... I think he's like using his punch... His, uh, what's it called? Microphone as a punching bag. No, I don't have... Like, what I'm using the, the uh, laptop's internal mic. <laughs> Of course you are. Of course you are. So, yeah, it's a. You, you don't have a mic. 
Yeah, I do. We both do. We both have yeah. blue snowballs. Yeah. I I like... mean, okay, really. Have oh, you ever okay. realized that, like... That like we actually sometimes seem to give a shit about the podcast. I seem to give yeah. a shit. About, I give a shit about the podcast and the blog. All, yeah. the, all of the time. Fuck, he's gone. Of course uh, he is. I predict. I'll tell him when I want to talk about daybreakers. Oh no, he's just starting oh, the video. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Guys, let me give you guys a little talk about a terrible game called Sonic. Okay. Um. So. <laughs> I was talking about my own terrible video game, Christian, so, like, let me finish up. Uh, like, is, yeah, that I use. Yes, it has Yoshi on it. Yeah, Yoshi is great. Yoshi. This doesn't and really this, play. This really doesn't really play in an audio podcast, Christian. Yeah. He said, are we going to get his anime fans shopping down our throats because we like JoJo and not Love Live? So, um, this is Persona Q. Um, d- don't worry, guys. Love uh, Live it's, is it's, getting... It's joke. Love Live is it's, getting an anime this season, I think. Yeah, it's already on. Yeah. I know because I see, pe- I see people tweeting about it. The only thing I know about it is that there's a character <laughs> who goes... <laughs> is a char- All I know about it is that there's a character who, who, who in loud English, English goes, It's joke. <laughs> which is... <laughs> which is great. <laughs> so... Christian, fucking stop! Christian, stop! Christian, can we, can we, is, can we kick him? I don't, yeah, I don't you know. Can. You, you started the call, so you can kick him. Oh, how does that work? You right, click, you on his, you? right click on his name and press like, uh, kick or whatever. Yeah, no, that's just, I, that's not working. <laughs> oh, well, so we fuck off. <laughs> He's st- no press like yeah. There should be like a hang up button, William. I know. Fuck. We're stuck <laughs> with that. him. We're stuck with him. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we're finishing really up JoJo in a minute, okay? I started part six. This entire podcast talking between the two of you over shit I don't care about. Wow. So welcome Christian- to how Kevin has felt for forty episodes. Yeah, Christian. It's li- <laughs> The first, like, uh, more... no, what has he been doing it for 40 episodes? He's been saying he has, but he's been doing it for like more than that. Christian, Christian, do you remember the time before, during, and slightly after MGS? Uh, that but, was me you know, sitting there for an hour. Oh, wait, were you here for Survive? Did we talk about that? <laughs> yeah, we didn't talk about that yet. We need to talk okay. about that. Okay, can we, can we talk about that? Oh no, can we talk about the MGS5 definitive experience? Oh, <laughs> I heard about this. Oh. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> How, fucking da- How fucking dare you call it that? How fucking <laughs> dare you? <laughs> There's no such thing. No such thing. <laughs> oh, fuck you. This, it's, it's, it's it's what happens when everyone refuses the news. Yeah. <sighs> I just... So, Kevin, just to finish up the JoJo trap, finally, Christian, you've made it go on longer. Um, yeah, I, started part si- I started part six, and it's basically Orange is the New Black with Stans oh. and Jotaro. Um, <laughs> I mean, it could just be Orange is the New Black with Jotaro, and it'd be fine, but no, Jotaro and Stans. Is Jotaro still in it? When... Yeah. <laughs> like, he's in part five for, like, two panels, so whatever. Um, like, he just tells someone, hey, go deal with Jorno. Like, I killed his dad or whatever. It's so gotten like, to you, the you point. deal with him. It's gotten to the point where, like, I can sort of, like, if you show me a shonen protagonist, like, I can probably pick out when that story was written just based on yeah. the archetype. Because, like... <laughs> Based on like, which JoJo it's ripping off. No, no, because like, no, because like Jotaro, the sort of like punk yeah, character, yeah. they were really popular back in the eighties. Mm. Then like, then like Toriyama made made dumb black haired idiots am who I to right? eat lots of food am the I, popular thing. Uh, for, am I um, right in saying that Joseph is sort of an anomaly in that? Joseph is. 
the second guy. Uh, yeah, I keep getting the two mixed up. Um, yeah, is he sort of like an anomaly in protagonists? Like he's kind. Yeah, he kind of is. I can't yeah. really think of another one. Because like in in Japan, the two big JoJo's are three and five. Yeah, but, are... no, but see, the thing is, Joseph cha- Joseph's personality changes like depending on which part he's in, like. Joseph in part two is completely different from Joseph in part three, who's and he's relatively different from like less. It's less of a drastic change, but it's still like a mm. change from how he acts in part four. It's fifty years of maturing, you know, and then ten years of being of prote- no oh, baby, it's baby. and then it's. Pretending to be senile so Susie Q won't get angry. <laughs> oh yeah, favorite anime trope: time skips. Oh yeah, well, no, that's they're, in, diff- that's they're in... different stories. Yeah, it's different. In but that's still the point. I don't care what plot they're going along. They, 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 I just don't it's, like time it's... skips as a concept in general. But like, yeah, no, I'm not. A, yeah, I'm not a huge yeah. time skip fan. That oh, being Kristen, said, are you still looking forward to fifteen? <laughs> Yeah, I can't really say much about hating on time skips. Like the original version of my sort of magnum opus inverted commas comic series has like a time has like a two year time skip at the end of every episode, which I've which I've like gotten rid of now because that's really dumb. Uh, mm. you're, you're very popular, well known. So, obviously. Christian, are you still looking forward to fifteen? <laughs> Not as much as to be. Have you seen Kingslave? I've seen that dumbass warp strength thing that Final Fantasy 15 oh. should, you should, we do, should we do a King's Life commentary? No, we should do a fake warp strength video. We're not at PAX. I'm sorry, Christian, to let you know. You may what? not have realized. Come on, we're, 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 we're good. We, we're not in Seattle right now. Kevin, have you noticed this? I've just noticed this. That we're not in Seattle? I mean, it is raining, but we are Um, not in Seattle. Well, I I I definitely noticed that we weren't in Seattle, considering that, like, yesterday I was in Boston. Yeah. Um, I don't know the America geography. Is that near Seattle? (laughs) No, that's on on the right side. I don't know where Seattle is. Seattle's, like, on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seattle's basically Canada, but yeah. D- don't like pick. The, don't pick. Yeah. Don't pick geography for uh, for the Leaving Cert, yeah. really. I'm not. I, I, already... I had to pick chemistry for the Leaving Cert. Like, but like, man. you don't do the states in geography, do you? No, I think you do not, America. No, I'm, I'm not like, even what, kidding. What? Christian, Christian, Christian can probably attest to this. But in third year alone, I got our class. At least two like tests in geography, and you see, <laughs> on like the European countries and like the Irish co- counties. How many Irish counties uh, can we you never... really? Oh, 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 I hope. Can you? I think. I can't. Oh, I can. I can name maybe two. half. Are Probably we going twenty-six like 20. or thirty-two? Thirty-two. Ah, the the true way. Yeah. <laughs> Go Jer. Don't. <laughs> Actually, don't, don't go Jer. Um, <laughs> I don't want to encourage him. Um, oh, no. Oh, what was the fucking... Have you heard about that film? There's a Jackie Chan film coming out next year, or this year, maybe, about... So his, his family was killed... So he's an Asian immigrant to England, mm-hmm. and his family was killed by an IRA car bomb. <laughs> so he goes so he goes after uh, like a a legally safe Jerry Adams lookalike uh, played by Pierce Brosnan uh, so it's no, going to be Jackie no, Chan has... versus Jerry Adams I don't believe it's going to be amazing you. I don't believe no it is I've forgotten the name look on Jackie Chan's yeah, I'm movie. looking up Jackie Chan now I don't remember the name of it I've been trying I to remember I don't the name believe you Um, so, that seems as good a place as any to start the Persona conversation quickly. Christian, you've played some video games. 
God, I'm tired. I'm so tired. You guys just didn't shut up. And, like, that was bad because you guys shouldn't be talking ever. Right. I'm like, no human being shut Okay, cool. Um, so, how did you enjoy uh, Wait, guys, Star Wars Karate Crusaders? Kid 2 is a thing. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it isn't. No, it's, it isn't. It's, uh,. <laughs> Just it's find been it. announced. Mm, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> All right. Films get announced. Oh, oh my god, time. it is a thing. Yeah. It's yeah, you didn't hear. Oh my god, it's coming out in November. Oh good. What's so great about this? It's Jackie Chan versus Jackie Jerry Chan Adams fighting the IRA. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. And they've gotten Pierce Brosnan to play legally safe Jerry Adams. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Um, <laughs> so, Persona, Christian, you watched, I know I watched Daybreakers, didn't you? I watched it. Yeah, I liked it. A lot. <laughs> I, I may have shed a tear. What? Why did you cry? No, it's dying, though! <laughs> Because, you know, it's like, yeah, I've been fucking waiting three years for this shit. Here it is. Oh, you still have to wait until February. I mean, yeah, I do have to wait for another five months, but, you know, it was the battle theme, and they were all doing stuff. And mm, it's so good. Yeah, it was great. Like, he, he said the thing. <laughs> thou and I, I am thou. It does, it's the thing. He said it. No reason. He said it, he said it for no reason though. <laughs> just just mean, one. and then he said yeah. it. He was all like, uh, like, like, like I am talking now. And man, those two twists, those were some good old twists. Those oh, yeah. two. For some reason, they made it seem like at the beginning that the uh, the person who broke the locks was forced to, but yeah. in actually he was actually a fucking gang boss. That and they... he, lo he looked a lot like a dachi during that scene. <laughs> no, like a lot. Didn't say so. No, I mean, I mean, during the fight mm. scene, he looked so much like Adachi. <sighs> what was going on exactly? Because they were fighting, they were fighting his demon shadow thing. Yeah. And then, then he disappeared, and then it cut to the real world where he was crying, and yeah. then they said he stole so, his heart. So. Yeah. Entertains in you, but you don't steal anything. Shut up. Yeah. No. Okay. So what it is is like they're just going to people and they're beating the shit out of them and being yeah. like, "Fucking change." <laughs> it's great. You know what? This is kind of like an odd version of Persona Four because, like, from what I saw, they're sort of taking these people into that world. Yeah. So it's like you're kidnapping them and tossing them into the TV world, so you can beat them up. Yeah. Except we're do we're just roughing them up a little, and they go out and they're like, "Hey, I'm a good guy. I'm I'm gonna turn myself in." That's good. This is even cool. But basically, it's like Persona Four. If they just kicked Adachi in the TV, beat the shit out of him, um, actually, no, that's exactly what happened. Well, considering how like the big character may as well like, I mean, they call him Joker. Yeah, which is no, good. It's a, it's a code. Yeah, the, code, the code names. Why? Why was why was Morgana's like? Why was Morgana's? It was like Mona. Like, why? I don't think it was. I don't think she had one. I, they still no, she did. It was Mona. Mona. Yeah. Mona. Why does Why does Morgana need a code name? She's a cat. Wait. Why does Morgana need to be in the anime anyway? Because when I think about an anime talking cat, I think about something very horrible. Come on. You mean Peace Walker? No, what about that? What about that? You talking cats? What, what, magical girl anime? Yeah. <laughs> Sailor Moon? Yeah, that's the first thing that comes to mind when you think about an anime that has a talking cat. When I think about a talking cat, I think of David Hayter <laughs> and Monster Hunter. Well, he was I an actual cat. He was just making weird noises. I think of David. I think of David Hayter like on a random beach in a r m fucking random level of Peace Walker. He's standing like, "Hey, what the fuck's that boat?" And just walking over and just a talking cat. Yeah, oh, and, 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 and they went to do monster hunter thing. 
my my snake impressor has gotten rusty. I, I haven't really had reasons to do it for about a year. Well, it's kind uh, of a shame. Maybe you should go get the tractor three. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll make chapter three, guys. It's all okay. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the take your... <laughs> they should have called it that. Middle Gear Solid Five, take your heart edition. It's been a year. <laughs> also, it's been four fifty-two years since the end of MGS Three happened, as of yesterday. <laughs> and today is the eighteenth anniversary of Metal Gear Solid One. I think. Yeah, 18th. Came out in Japan today in 1998. Metal Gear Solid 1 is now old enough to drink in Japan. Maybe. I don't know what the legal drinking age is in Japan. Uh, I think Japan has the same legal drinking age that we do. Okay. Yeah, good job, Metal Gear Solid 1. Go out for a pint. Um, <laughs> go, go out for a drink. I guess. Uh, also, so, Christian, kind of... you also played Persona Three. <laughs> what did you think about that? You played you played Emo Stardust Crusaders, the video game. Well, in terms of story, it has holes. Yeah. Pretty much every fifteenth cutscene it has a hole. Yeah, and really explain it even in the anime. But it's a good good story. Good yeah, story. Yeah. Um, I... I, I watch I also I watched the movie while we were off. There were oh, yeah, four I, movies, and they yeah. were pretty. They're pretty fucking great. You know, I I didn't like them. I liked the third movie. I didn't like the other movies because they were just beyond depressing. Uh, for no yeah, reason. I really liked two. I think two is the best one. Maybe I think four. It's the best one because they actually give him a fucking like he laughs in the third movie. It's creepy, but he laughs, and that's good yeah. because everything's yeah. okay. And then and at then the end, it, he tells them they're going to die. And then in part four, they just randomly throw in the Elizabeth scenes, like they forgot, like they forgot they were there. Cut her <laughs> in a nightclub. Yeah, I just... and so it's like it's all the Elizabeth scenes happening in like the most emotional part of the game, just like. Yeah. <laughs> What? Do, 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 do. And then it up and dancing. Yeah, it's like the, the the slide scene in the fucking with memories of the city playing. Like, what <laughs> the fuck's going on? It's uh, construction site. Like, his mother is telling him to live, and then Elizabeth uh, says, "They forgot about me." And, and then at the end, she's like, "Hey, I got my own spinoff to be in." You fucks. And then it's gonna happen, guys. Totally. I just like they made you Kali. That that scene will always stand out to me. They made her stare for herself in that in that film. Yeah, that was weird. I that was really weird. <laughs> uh, there's one point in the films that really took me out, and I get that. It, yeah, I I get it, Japan. It's your language, but you have to. Like, you have to be knowledgeable about the memes and how I won't take a, se a scene seriously if you say a thing from JoJo in the middle of a serious scene. It's like in one <laughs> serious scene, though? Mitsuru just goes, yare, yare. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I just fucked up. What? But, like, I do like some things they added. Like, they, they made Ken actually like Shinji before he tried to kill him, which is. I feel like it was. Like,. I remember it being like that in the game. I don't no, know why. No, Ken straight up fucking wanted to kill Shinji from the start. And he never liked him. Maybe it's VMC. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it changed that. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong because it's been like a year since I even touched it. But yeah. Yeah. So bottom line, I. If I'm never going to watch a film, so it'll probably just be true again because I didn't really like the others. They were just yeah, extended clips like, staring at Minato's face while he contemplates whether or not he should do something. But like, yeah, that was some JoJo level of just like, hey, we're going to adapt this thing in the most fan servicey way possible. Fucking enjoy it. Yeah, casual version of Burn My Trend and then automatically oh, he's just like, yeah, oh, yeah. my, oh Jesus. It's a good... Those are some good films. It's a good... You did I, good anime. Well, as an adaption... I hate myself. It should have... I don't know... Cut out mm -hmm. that moment where Yukari was starving herself and maybe I'd call them good quality. 
Oh, yeah. And I, I might watch Factor of Hope tonight. <laughs> I might. That's not even so dubbed, is it? No, it's not dubbed. Oh, uh, you could pr- there's there's probably a f- there's someone has probably cut together a dubbed version because that'd be easy enough to do. Yeah, it's um, but I, I I don't like didn't that it's just weird because that's how they tease the Petri films. Yeah. So, okay, Kevin. To mm-hmm. put into perspective, what Factor of Hope is. So they took the twenty six or. I think it's 26, maybe 24 episode uh, P4 anime. And then they were like, hey, what if we made a movie of this, but it was just the... F- but we, we just skip... We, we open on the final battle and tell the rest in flashbacks during it. So they, is- the 20, they cut a 24 episode anime and like, into like a two hour movie. Hmm. That all they- takes place within the final battle. They did that for Berserk, but they did three films instead of just one. Yeah. I yeah, didn't see makes them because. Actually, on the topic of Berserk, it's getting less shit. Oh. <laughs> it's still nowhere near as good as, like, the first season, but, like, it's not shit. I mean, we still watch Sword Out of Night. Oh, I no. I, I hate see Sword Out of Night with a fiery passion that will never end. I don't. <laughs> I cannot wait for the Western version. It's, it's <laughs> not gonna be a thing. There's no way. I really <laughs> want it to be though. It's too popular. And like, it's like, not even a movie. It's on TV. That's it's gonna be even better. I get my weekly fucking just sit down and go. Oh, <laughs> it's so bad. I I listen to an, I listen to an anime podcast every week. And the people on there don't hate Sword Art Online. They're like, and I have a friend, and like, I have one other friend who likes anime, and he also is like, kind of like Sword Art Online. So like, I'm like, there's a there's a fucking crew in my in my school who are like, hey, fucking watch it, man. It's great. It's gonna revolutionize your life. No, it's not. And and yeah, but these guys also watch High School DxD, so you know. Right. Yeah, their favorite anime is Death Note. <laughs> Death Note is a good anime. Shut your hole, Christian. But like, I I'll probably watch the Netflix one because Willem. This podcast is over. I'm probably gonna watch. Reedy, uh, I actually, Reedy, I actually the think you. I actually think you'd. Uh, I actually think you'd like Death Note. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna watch the Netflix thing because Willem's in it, so. Mm. You know, if you've got Willem, you've got me on board. <laughs> unless you're da- unless you're David Cage. <laughs> In which case, uh, please don't buy his games. In which case, don't talk to me. Don't, 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 play, don't play his games more than once. Oh, uh, I, th- I think I finished watching Beyond. Uh, Why while we were out. I watched all of Beyond. <laughs> oh, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> I watched some of it. It's just oh, oh, I don't even like fucking people. It's the stupidest shit. Okay, yeah. so there's a scene in Beyond uh-huh. where you go into a. So like Beyond starts off like reasonable enough. It's like a girl in her stand, whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's just so. <laughs> Again, like it's just like oh there's this girl and she has supernatural powers she's been lost for all her, li- all her life she was made to go into the military she's uh, you know like they show her as a kid going to birthday parties and fucking it up but like then by the end of the game it's like now she's breaking into a Chinese ghost base <laughs> because and you go why? what <laughs> Because David Cage, <laughs> it's like David Cage is like, hey, I want to have a Chinese ghost base, <laughs> and doesn't think how will this figure into the story. He just, like, it, it, in, he just puts it in there and works around it. It's, I, I have this new original concept for a game. It's there's a, there's a point. There's a point where he goes and lives with some Native Americans, and she, I don't even remember how she got there. She was just in the desert. And she ran into some Native Americans. Uh, and they were like, 
hello, would you like to live with us? And she was like, okay. Sure. <laughs> sure, and, why not? And, and, and also the Native, Amer- and the Native Americans are ghosts. <laughs> because of course they are. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean the ending is less offensive than Heavy Rain but the rest of it is worse because like Heavy Rain's ending is so offensive because the rest of it is like this is nearly there like this is so close to being good and then the ending is like no fuck you no it wasn't fuck you fuck it I, I did like a single fuck video games <laughs> I think, like, the investigation scenes are cool. Yeah, that's, and, and then, like, the start of the game, though, and then on the way through. Yeah, there's, the start... Around the scenes. Everything with Ethan is awful. Yeah, everything with Ethan is and, awful. And with Madison. Um, but what's-his-face and uh, FBI agent Nam and Jaden. Uh, uh, yeah, those, those are all right. Those parts are cool. Um, you know, until until the ending. And it's just like, nah, fuck all of it. Yeah, uh, then, uh... Just, no, Heavy Rain is a... Heavy so no. Rain is a murder mystery. <laughs> heavy Rain is a murder mystery that just lies to you. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it just... It contradicts itself in, like, one of the key scenes of evidence. It's like, no, that didn't happen, though. Like, yeah, I that's... played that scene, and that didn't happen. Yep. So, you, fuck that. Um, that means, that, although, then again, that's not what you said when we played Metal Gear Solid 5 and everything to do with um, that whole thing with, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, I actually forgot. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, who? What are we talking about? A uh, woman who died at the end of uh, Ground Zero somehow came oh, back. And, yeah, there we go. That's I forgot. <laughs> oh, no, but that's different. No, it isn't different <laughs> because that no, didn't no, but yeah, the point is that it didn't happen in that thing. Yeah, <laughs> it did. Did you, finish, did you finish that story? Yeah, I did. She just disappears uh, in the middle place. Yeah, the point was that 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 didn't happen. Uh huh. Like, no, we weren't lying to you. We were telling the truth the first time. We lied the second time. And I love how your reaction to it was ugly. Eat this Oda Kojima's hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm also. <laughs> Death Stranding is a JoJo. <laughs> totally, because as Kevin, that, will know, as, as Kevin will know, uh, in JoJo Part 4, there's an invisible baby. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> and there's one scene where he's walking through muds. Mud, mud. Jesus, muds. What the fuck? <laughs> and you just see the handprints. And, yeah, no. Kojima saw that episode of JoJo and was like, hey... What if I did that? And like, I think the timing lines up and everything. <laughs> Maybe. I hope so. I really hope so. Um, but also the timing would definitely line up because, you know, that was 20 years ago. <laughs> but, um, Christian, do you want to talk about Persona Q to round us out? Or... Uh, well... All right. What makes a balanced game, ladies and gentlemen? Persona 3 oh. is an unbalanced game. But it's an unbalanced game in the sense where every boss can be killed within two minutes. Which is very yeah. inaccurate. But they, also kill, but they can also kill you in two minutes. Actually, no, they can't, because in Persona 3, you literally, they stand no chance. <laughs> I mean, in Persona but, 4, uh, you're basically hitting yeah. the boss for five minutes until one of you yeah. fall. In Persona... MG, uh, SMT is unfairly... Balanced, like it is balanced, and that is the unfair part. Yeah, like, you can kill them as easily as they can kill you. That, that's basically why Persona Four works because yeah, the bosses won't die in two minutes; they'll take about ten minutes or so, which is fine. That's because Persona Three just has way more bosses. Like, yeah, are you, can, are you counting the Tartarus bosses as well as the Full Moon bosses? Because well, the Tartarus yeah. bosses are Charter, yeah. yeah. What? But the Tartarus bosses, bosses are more difficult than the actual mandatory bosses, I get that. But uh, No, but like sometimes the gimmick will just fuck you over in those bosses. Like, Except fucking... if you're playing P3P, where you actually control your party members and you can yeah, basically but, just adapt but very quickly. Even then, Wheel of Fortune. 
Oh, I like that fight. That fight was cool. Yeah, it's a cool fight, but it fucks you over. No, I, I, what you mean? What you had trouble stopping the wheel in the right place, or? Yeah, yeah. See, I didn't. I, I got it right. But, I mean, when it starts cheating, then it, then I love that yeah. because it's like. And then it just trolls you by showing you the slot machine, and half of the damn thing is in the red. So, mm. like, uh, the boss is in Persona for the reason. Uh, Persona 4, door bounce. Persona Q is the most spastic thing I've ever played in my entire life. Huh. Should we, should we get Jim in for an Etrian Odyssey special next week? No, it's like only it's one something. Odyssey game. I've been muted. What? The, the only, there's only one Etrian Odyssey game that's been localized, isn't there? No, like all of them have been. Two isn't. What? Two isn't. Etrian Odyssey 2? Well, the remake's been localized, at least. But what I mean, like, you know what? I can't tell whether or not the Etrian Odyssey thing is ruining it, because the Labyrinth was terrible. Like, you're playing a 70 to 80 hour game, and there's only five Labyrinths, they're terrible, there's no question. Yeah, no. I, I got I got through the first labyrinth, which is like five, six hours, maybe, right? Yeah, six was three floors. Yeah, and I hated it. And I was like, no, I'm I'm not playing this. Christian, <laughs> I assume you you. It seems like you felt the same way, and then you kept going. <laughs> yeah, because it, it was persona trash. I mean, but uh, the last dungeon is ten floors, ten, which is twice the amount of the previous dungeon, which was five. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that what? is how maths works. What? Wait, fuck off. Uh, but, like, <laughs> the floors are shorter until you get to floor 8, which is the biggest floor in the whole game. And it's so huge. God. And do the balance is. Christian, tell me, do FOEs become an actual problem at any point? They become a problem right into the second dungeon. Like, okay. they're well, fucking I didn't dead. get that far, because I got to the first boss, and I was like, I haven't enjoyed this game enough to keep going, to grind this out. Like, I thought the FOEs were just something that it were easy to avoid. Like, in the first dungeon, you just need to, like, walk behind them, and then you could fight them when you were stronger. No, in all the other dungeons, it takes a hell of a lot of energy to avoid them. Yeah. Even then, I keep getting thrown into battles with them. Like, in the first dungeon, if you got into a battle with them, it was your fault. It was completely your yeah. fault. In any of the other battles, this is to get into a battle that you need to run away from very quickly. Hmm. Ugh, God, don't remind me of... They made the Reaper for the Silver Free in FOE. Hmm. And he is... If he gets the first turn, and if he casts his uh, instant kill spell on the whole party... And you're not immune? Goodbye. Mm. Reload your safe phone. Huh. I, I was in a bookshop, and they had the PQ Mango, and I was like, hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was in a couple of Brands and Nobles in America, and they had uh, the PQ Mango. They, and actually, they had tons of Persona Mango. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Persona, 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 Persona Mango isn't good, though. Well, uh, Persona like, 4... I, the, only, the only thing I know from the Persona 4 anime is that one moment where uh, Narukami puts his head into the TV when uh, Yukiko is on, and so does Yoshi, and they both appear in the same place. So they both immediately realize what they've been trying to do. Wait, that happens in the manga? Yeah, it what? does. Yeah, I I'll look it up later. I found it. It was fucking hilarious. What the fuck? Maybe I should read this. Just to be like, what the fuck? And is, yeah, the P5 one is starting in like two weeks. I I probably won't read it because you know it's Persona Five. There are so many so you can play about Persona Q, like Labyrinths. That's that's just one side of the puzzle. Yeah, the other side of the puzzle is the off the power system. I liked it when I started the game. I thought it was cool. Like you couldn't knock no, them. Oh no! You had this boost. Uh, it was, it was yeah. pretty great, and then. Then it starts getting complicated because you have to choose from the party. Okay, actually, question question what? about the PQ Mango. Why? PQ is like all gameplay. Well, no, because uh, there's this no, it's like this. Like, the game... Persona, Persona 3 and 4 have like a 50-50 
character gameplay. Yeah, I see. Whatever, so. Right? <laughs> Depending on how you devote your time. Like, it's up to you. Um, you could you can go like 70-30, I'd say, if you don't grind. Which you don't yeah. have to. Um, I did anyway, so I could beat the yeah, boss. Yeah, I know you did. Um, but like... In Persona Q, there's these things called strolls, which appear as you go through the uh, various yeah. dungeons, and there's also the Elizabeth quests. The requests in PQ aren't done by Elizabeth, they're done by your party members. Like, they ask you to do things. Mm. And it's like, it's all related to stuff. And oh, I just, I, I can't, I, I'll never be able to buy it. I'll never be able to buy it, I just, uh... Here's the thing, I I like how like, like the story doesn't advance until the final dungeon. I, 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 I but they try to focus on like the, the the characters and their chemistry and all that. Stuff. If they didn't, it, it, completely. It, it, that would be good if they didn't fucking just go. Hey, haha! Isn't it funny? They're acting out of character. That's good writing. <laughs> Complete <laughs> landlords, all seventeen of them. Like, even is. Even Karamaru? <laughs> well, Especially Karma Karamaru. Karamaru's a dog! I, I feel like Kevin knows that. Do no. you know that, Kevin? Karamaru. I didn't, but if you told me that it was the name of a dog, I'd be like, yeah, that sounds legit. Yeah, it it's sounds just like a, a fucking dog ra name. It's, it's a I'm random so Japanese name. I could be like, hey, Jeruro. That's dog. <laughs> there, there's probably one, but like, not not only are they flying rest, which is painful enough, yeah. but it's all right. Let me give you an example, Yukiko. She barely talks in PQ. Oh, and that's that's basically because they have like seventeen different characters. They need to get them all to talk at some point, but not all of them can get the most focus. And like that's the point of picking like the different they, sides, like each side or people side, but. Then you have the problem of, why would you play the game again? <laughs> yeah, the only good thing about the flounder, the only good case of flounderization in that game is, I guess, where it makes sense, because she's still yeah, they need like, pre-personality, pre -person pre and that's great, because more pre-personality, I guess, is always great. I mean, more likes in general, yeah, whatever. So, like, <laughs> that's when we don't get enough of, you know, I guess just being a robot, and not a... But yeah, yeah, so and not just a slightly socially awkward human with with, with guns for fingers. <laughs> Oops. I'll, I'll never find a real girl with guns for fingers. I think you should stick to that's why you should stick to anime really. I'm, I've been telling no. you for years. No, because I I don't even find other anime with anime, anime girls with guns for fingers, Chris. Kevin. Name one other one. Um Shut up, she's a toaster. <laughs> but, like... Exactly. What? Just, like, I was enjoying the start of PQ, and then I realized, I can, you know I can what? Name, I can name an... I can... Okay, I can't name him, but I know of an anime guy with guns for fingers. I don't care. I need to be a short-haired girl with guns for fingers. <laughs> it's how. He, has, he has short hair. I... I said girl. Yeah, but really, let's be honest, like, if, if push comes to shove... I mean, you'll, no! You'll, you swing, you'll, you'll swing with the breeze. I mean... What? There's a scale for this thing, it's like <laughs> 0 to 6, I'm a 1, I think. <laughs> like, I can appreciate it, I'm not gonna do it, but like... Yeah, you know, yeah I'm I the kinda same. I see the appeal, but I wouldn't do it myself. <laughs> but like, really, if you saw it, really, really, I, I, I got that. You just appropriated, like, you just took a community quote. I hate like, you. Or maybe oh, you didn't even yeah. know it this time. Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. No, because remember when, when, because when yeah, we're Jeff, talking about like, Paul Rudd and religion. Yeah. I, I know. You don't have to explain which community part I quoted. Subconsciously to me, I, I I realize. Clearly, I do. No, I realize. Like once you say, Sean, did you just quote community? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't on pur purpose, but yeah. Um. 
What were you saying, Christian? Guns and fingers? Uh, yeah, well, they're good. Well, it's like everything in PewDiePie. Really basically, finished. Persona 3 Threads is the uh, best game ever, because it's basically just more Aegis. <laughs> like, that's all they added was the Aegis. Did you say Aegis? What do you mean? Did you just say Aegis? Aegis. 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 Wait, 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 wait. First you used the weeb spelling. Now you're calling her Aegis. I guess I just whatever care. <laughs> as long as she'll make me toast, I'm all good. I don't care what I call. Like, oh, whatever. Listen, like the, the, basically, the Persona Tree Essling for I just is little Monado fuck a robot. As in, she asked yes. Monado that, and then Monado just goes like, "Okay, sure, w w let's do that," and then they do. I mean, wouldn't you? But, like, it's, like, with all the other girls in uh, Persona 3, like, it's implied that they get, you know, full, but they don't really sh imply it enough. I just, it's basically just, like, they straight up say that they do stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, of course, we all know, safety warning, do not fist android girls. <laughs> <laughs> Marina's existence is justified by that Photoshop. Do not. Uh, I will always have to remember that in the uh, coming cyberpunk future, <laughs> where we have the opportunity to do so. But I must remember, I cannot. <laughs> I need your help! I must, but I mustn't. I, yeah. Uh, like, I, I don't care about video porn. Like, call me when robots. <laughs> uh, call me when robots can, like, have short hair and wigs. Yeah, yeah. I just need... Like, all I, all I want from a girl in Persona is just, hey, <laughs> short hair and a gun. Done. Uh, you know, uh, you call her as semi-short hair, that's why she's a bitch. I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. She, like, has know, a, she, she has a bow and arrow, that's not a gun. Let, no, let me talk to you about um, my first impression of Yukari. When I was playing a PG as, a, you know, an innocent young child who uh, isn't used to emo punk status. Curtis Crusaders, yeah. <laughs> but, like, I, I'm playing the game, it's like, it's all good, like, oh, this dark guy with coffins, he walks into the dorm, and then there's, and then, and then, like, it, at the start of the game, they show clips of this girl shooting herself with something that looks like a gun but isn't. And, and then, again, the same girl is like, who are you? And then she reaches for her gun, and I'm like, whoa, oh, okay. And, and then she's all like, here's your room. And then, and then, and I'm like, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so, um, like she's... And, and, and on that <laughs> note, people. Come back soon for the Makoto Nijima cast, where, <laughs> where we discuss P3 girls. But P5 girls, whatever. Stuff. It's M Minato. I'm not calling him Makoto because Makoto is a piece of shit. He doesn't have I'm not, I'm not calling him Makoto. I'm calling the P5 character Makoto Makoto. Makoto Makoto. Fucking I don't like Makoto Makoto, though. Anyone named Makoto. <laughs> I, well, shut up. She's, she's, she has short hair and a gun. <laughs>